I mean, honestly, the only reason why I'm up this early is because I'm so sick and tired of not like grasping life by the balls and actually doing shit. I'm someone who sleeps to the very last fucking minute. I kind of hate wasting a lot of my mornings away. So, so I'm up at like 7.30 and I don't have to go into work till 12, but uh, I'm exhausted. I, I had like four hours of sleep last night, but I had to do this because it's like, if I didn't wake up and roll out of bed and like try, then I, I don't think I'd ever will. <laughs> <laughs> Lotus, can we go in? I have to pee. I have to pee. Can I go in? I let you pee. You're being very rude right now. I'm not gonna lie. I fucking struggled get up this morning. I really did, but I had to. I had to like kick myself out of bed because I needed to like change and actually do something productive with my life. Not in like productive sense of like getting a lot of stuff done, but actually like getting my m mental health in check productive, if that makes any sense. It doesn't because I'm running on like four hours of sleep. Hear me out, last night I wrote down a list of things that affect my mood affect my health that's causing me to feel stressed out anxious and depressed and i'm just like because i'm i'm so sick and tired of feeling so sad so anxious just a lot of negative feelings when there's so many like positive aspects that's happening to my life and i'm like i'm so tired of feeling a certain way where it puts barriers in front of like my happiness and my ability to go and do things and work on things like i'm i feel like i'm not giving it all to my writing or to teaching or to even my dog and like from an outside perspective people are like you're doing a great job from like but the inside perspective because we're our own like biggest critics i'm just out here being like i am a shit person and i can't get my shit together and i feel like i'm holding back on a lot of good things that you know happened to me and it's because of how i'm feeling and so i was like okay let's sit down with my feelings and figure out why am i feeling this way and i've come to the conclusion that it's sleep or should i say lack of sleep i've i'm gonna be honest i've battled with sleep like i've had problems with my sleeping since as far back as I can remember, like I'm talking all the way back to like middle school. I grew up in a homeschool environment and my parents are incredibly disciplined. So we had to be up by like 6.30, even at a really young age. And then just the amount of work that was put on us, we didn't get to bed till like really late. I know my parents, at a young age try to get us to go to bed at a very early time but like even then i struggled with getting to sleep on time or you know falling asleep there are nights where i'd literally fall asleep around midnight and then i'd be up at 6 6 30 and at a young age you're supposed to have like over eight hours of sleep and i'm not getting that Fast forward, I'm 25 years old and I have the worst relationship with sleep. Now, I'm no Trisha Paytas. I'm not going to be out here trying to like self-diagnose, but I'm pretty sure I have some form of insomnia. I'll be out here surviving off four to five hours of sleep and that is not healthy. And I know I do this to myself, but like I hate going to sleep because I struggle with getting to sleep and I hate the steps that it takes for me to go to sleep and I've just never Ever had a great relationship with that like sleep isn't the only thing that's like affecting my mental health or physical health it's like eating aspect drinking enough water I'm barely out here eating like three main meals a day. Um, I hate to admit this, my um, relationship with food isn't the greatest either. Not that like I have difficulty eating. I eat a lot i eat food when i eat i just eat my thing is like i'm so tired and i'm so fucking lazy that like i won't eat breakfast i'm lucky if i have enough time to grab a piece of toast or make myself a smoothie um and for lunch it's probably like a small sandwich and then for dinner that's when i have like my main meal and like i'm out here joking around like what's fasting because i do that all the time now which is not good not healthy you know your body needs three three full meals a day and i think that's also contributing to the lack of energy i feel when i get up in the morning yeah last night i'm i 
I just finally sat down and I uh, went through things that I need to change that I can change that I can control and I think the three main factors is sleep, drinking, and eating. I'm just fucking tired of feeling like a zombie and not living to my full potential. That's our emotional heart-to-heart -heart talk of the day. That was disgusting. I'm gonna go take a shower now. This is my outfit for the day. They want to drench the security. So you have to... image of all, her sons. I just made it to my school. I feel like shit. I had to change my pants. Because just as I got to my bus stop, I freaking leaked because I'm on my period. So I missed my first bus and I had to go back and I got to change. So um, this shit sucks. Anyways, time to teach my little rays of sunshine. So I got to be a little ray of sunshine. This is my classroom. Yes, I'm the teacher here. I teach English. So this is my timetable. This is Monday. This is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and this is Friday. This is my biggest day. Okay, cool. Is today Sunday? I'm leaving school now. I'm going home now. Goodbye. I'm finally going home. I caught today and now I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go see my dog. Uh, uh.